At our earliest roots, we gathered, recognizing Christ as our Savior, our Healer, Baptizer, and Coming King. From that foundation, this Pentecostal fellowship began. Our early days were formed as individuals responded to the Spirit's leading. These included the son of a former slave who preached in an old stable, a female healing evangelist and urban missionary, a real estate agent who held meetings in his home, and a young man who strapped his Bible to his plow while working the fields, memorizing and reciting entire chapters of scripture at a time. Ordinary, everyday people in many ways, but full of faith, seeking for more of what God had for them. They were history makers, legacy builders, groundbreakers, men and women who took the gospel where the Holy Spirit led them to go. Our charter forming the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada was signed in 1919, and decade after decade, the Lord's work has gone forward. Six Bible colleges were established between 1925 and 49. We are presently training over 700 students. Eight Pentecostal camps were formed in the 30s and 40s, and thousands have come to faith and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit in those settings. In the middle of the last century, gospel boats took the good news to isolated communities along the BC coast and prairie lakes. Planes like Wings of the Gospel helped us reach into northern Ontario, Quebec, and Manitoba. Sunday schools were birthed to systematically disciple all ages and laid a foundation for the growth of youth ministries and many local church congregations. Numerous missionary families were sent out from among us, including Bill and Lillian Cornelius, who served in Kenya for over 20 years. In the early 80s, they returned to Canada, and Bill led our overseas missions department. Today, his son Murray serves as our POC Family International Missions Director. They are just one of many families where the torch for mission and ministry has been passed down from one generation to the next. Through Crusaders, Christ's Ambassadors, Bus Ministries, and various team outreaches and missions programs over the years, we have invested strongly in discipling the next generation. This is still our heart and focus today. In 1983, Erdo was formed. Today, over 8,200 children are sponsored. Clean water flows in thirsty communities, nutritious meals are provided, and entire communities are impacted. Through the good work of Erdo, we are able to respond when crisis strikes. Globally, we are active in 77 countries. And through our work and partnerships, we have seen over 50,000 churches planted and 35,000 leaders trained and released to pastor over 12 million people. We extend our reach through more than 340 global workers and a growing Mission Canada team, tracking towards 40 workers by 2020 to reach unique gaps in our nation. We are thankful for the faithful commitment of 1,200 affiliated assemblies, church plants, satellites, and missional initiatives who call the POC family. We minister to more than a quarter of a million Canadians each week in 39 languages. Over 13,000 have come to Christ in this past year. More than 5,600 were baptized in water and over 3,100 received the infilling of the Spirit. We have been and continue to be a family that believes in the power of Jesus to save, baptize, and heal. We are a people who provide witness to the miraculous ways God is changing lives. And all of this brings us to this moment today. Today, we, the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada, acknowledge God's faithfulness. We celebrate 100 years. We reflect on God's goodness to us. What began with a small group of people seeking for the Holy Spirit to move has developed into a far-reaching fellowship that is impacting the globe. But we are not satisfied with where we are. We do need the Holy Spirit to convict hearts, change lives, and empower people today like never before. We have set a vision that cannot be reached by our efforts alone. We are hungry for God to move in new ways and new places among different people groups. We are asking Him to move among our children and youth, the generation that needs to experience the supernatural power of God at work. We picture a future where Jesus Christ is lifted high in every community so all can know and experience His power and presence. Today we commemorate, we reflect on all God has done, yet there is no greater way to acknowledge His faithfulness on this 100th anniversary than to seek for a fresh visit of this Spirit in our churches, our homes, in our communities, across our nation, and for our world. Let's unite today in prayer as challenged by our General Superintendent, David Wells, and ask God to pour out His Spirit on us once again, as He did at Pentecost. Spirit, come. Fill us. Change us. Influence us in such a way that we would live out our faith every day in a way that is vibrant and alive. Help us to stand firm on your word, passing it from one generation to another. Challenge us to speak life into our desperate situations. Empower us to go to those around us and to the far-reaching corners of the world, making disciples, baptizing those who follow you, and teaching this world your ways. 
Visit us with that power of Pentecost once again, that we may boldly serve you and proclaim your name until you return.